Uh, Queen San, long time no see. Long time it, see. It, it, it's really great to see you again. And we have to appreciate, the, we have to thank uh, Madara Mesan for giving us such great opportunity, yeah. opportunity of dialogue. And uh, uh, actually, he's here. I know he's watching Hi, us. Madara <laughs> Sensei, <laughs> arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Uh, anyway, uh, you remember we co-authored and we published this book. Wow. Wow. It's a great book. It didn't sell very well, unfortunately. No, it sold <laughs> well, you, You're an author of many books in Japan. Yeah. You, know, you, you, you have a bestseller, but uh, this child doesn't have a very good uh, a chance in the market. But uh, I remember this is a great book. And yeah. yeah. You can say, two authors say this is a great book. So it must be a good, <laughs> great book. <laughs> Anyway, the, today, um, basically, Madame Sa wants us to uh, cover the main topics of this uh, book. So that, in this book, we talked about the Trumpel Doll, the great warrior, the, yes. the found, one of the founders of the uh, great country of Israel, your country. And uh, he did learn a great deal in Japan when he, he, was, uh, he was captured in the Russo-Japan War. And he came to Japan, he did learn a great re lesson. Uh, to die for the country is a great honor. Yes. He heard that the words f from one Japanese soldier, unknown, unknown person, but uh, then the, that gives a uh, lot of energy to him, and uh, he died for the, uh, the country, really, uh, to establish the great country, country nation of Israel. He dedicated his life. And he did learn that from Meiji Japan, and that was our honor, too. See. And uh, the, to, to start with, the, it, actually you talked many times and probably you wrote many times already about how you discovered Japan, how uh, you got to know Japan. Uh, please start with this. It's through karate I hear. <laughs> yeah, well actually yeah. I, yeah. I uh, studied the mathematics and physics in the mm -hmm. University the mm. first year. Mm. I studied that uh, about 40 something years ago. Mm. And then I saw some people practicing in the hall, not even in the gym, mm. something. And that mm. was karate, and I joined yeah. immediately. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. uh, the, the next day I was practicing every day, five, six, seven, sometimes eight hours every day, for I many see. years. For many years, yeah. I yeah. don't know why, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. but uh, I know why, actually. Mm. But, uh, mm. but uh, I, I, I was uh, happy to meet Sensei Oshima a few years uh -huh. later. Mm -hmm. He came to, to Israel mm. in the middle of the war, of the wow. Yom Kippur War. Yom Kippur War, he came during the war. In he during visited the war. Israel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was in the war, so uh -huh. I could not meet mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. But the next year I went to meet him in uh, Paris. To, mm. And then since there, I met him every year a uh, mm. few times. Mm. And, uh, and through him I learned about Japan. Mm -hmm. The, the love see. to Japan, the culture of Japan. Mm -hmm. and I, I, you were... Uh, fascinated with Japanese martial arts, but then through martial arts, certainly you encountered Japan, kind of yeah. essence of Japan. Yes. And you are, actually you're a pretty known figure in Japan already. And uh, you, are, you are called Israeli samurai, samurai, <laughs> yeah. More than anybody, you represent samurai, ancient samurai spirits. We know that, and we truly appreciate that. So easily, through martial arts, easily I think you grasp that hearts and the minds of Japanese people. Mm. I think that there mm. is a um, mm. deep similarity Deeps. between the, the mm. history of uh, Israeli people and mm. the mm. Japanese uh, mm. historical. Mm. So it was not so difficult. Really, really. Actually, mm. because I was, when I was born, since I was born, mm. my grandfather, my father mm. used to tell me about the heroes in the Bible, and I read the Bible. Mm -hmm and about, uh, you know, uh, Yehuda and Yaakov and uh, Samson Shimshon and all David and all mm. these warriors mm. in the Israeli history. So I felt very mm. connected to them, mm -hmm. spiritually, mm. mentally, you know. Mm. So after that, because of the war in Israel, I had mm. to go to war many mm -hmm. times and mm. I survived. I haven't decided that I will not die. Mm -hmm. So I was wounded a few times, but uh, I was survived and uh, mm. And, uh, and, and something that the history and the real time mm. made kind mm. of combi combination of mm. the spiritual things. So when I met the mm -hmm. martial art, the Japanese martial art, mm. it was not something strange. Mm. It was just something that mm. put it in an order. Mm. 
the karate is very order way how to build yourself mm. technically mm. physically mentally mm. so what we call shin shin tomoni shin shin tomoni like yeah. you know your yeah. heart and body, and body together together, together. Yeah. so Transform. how do you build yeah. build them together mm. so it seems like oh somebody mm. put it in a very order way you know mm. the mm. spirit and the and, mm. and the body together and it That's why mm. Oshima Sensei was... Mm. Yeah, so actually Oshima Sensei has mm. many Jewish students around the world, not just really? in Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Something in the way that he is teaching is very kind of uh, Jewish. Mm-hmm. So mm. it's a Japanese way, but mm. something very mm. similar, mm. deeply. Mm. Maybe Jewish people used to have that kind of uh, martial arts, but maybe yeah. it disappeared in history. It disappeared, but, yeah. yeah. But here, that, you know, that, that, that's the so-called way of samurai. Bushido yes. is the way to strengthen body and mind, yeah. spirit, spirit and body together, yeah. and to serve the country. Yes. To serve the, in order to serve the country, must, one must be physically strong, one must yeah, be mentally you, strong. That's what you said about Trumpeldo. Trumpeldo, uh, Trumpeldo. was mm-hmm. one of my heroes, or mm-hmm. maybe yes. the, the hero, mm-hmm. since yeah. uh, I was uh. born into a very... Mm. active family mm. and uh, the Trumpador was the one that is a movement of Beta was called upon his name mm. Brit Yosef Trumpador mm. and uh, he was that person he was that mm. kind of person he mm. would fight for his country until mm. death so mm. he would sacrifice his life mm. and that's what happened to him mm. you don't have to sacrifice mm-hmm. but if you have to then mm. what, that's what you have to do mm-hmm. it's better to live for your country right Yeah, sure, sure, sure. But if you don't have, yeah. if you have to give mm. your life, then mm. you give your life for mm. the country. So in, in a sense, his life is forever now. You yes. Know, everybody yeah. remembers his name yes, and as one of the founders of the country. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not mm. the right or left or, mm. or, or any politics. Mm. It's mm. just the way, mm. the way of serving mm. the country. Mm. Now, the Japan used to be a country of samurai, used to be. Unfortunately, today, Japan is not a country of samurai. I cannot, I, if I can say, still well, Japanese, I'm, I'm, I will be very happy. But that is why so um, we can learn from your country, Israel, and the Jewish people's call, call full-mindedness, this, always being alert to the security. This is something we lost uh, after 1945, we lost the war. And uh, of course uh, we made our own mistakes, but there was a cause of the war too. However, uh, after the war, since the, through the occupation period, the Japanese were almost total forced to think, we were forced to think that all the military thing is, is evil. And mm-hmm. even that, Defense forces, armed forces of the country, which is necessary to every country, should be abandoned. That kind of, of clause is written in our constitution during the occupational period. So we were all brainwashed at that time. Almost all the Japanese people were brainwashed by uh, that kind of, uh, what to say, that uh, very stupid pacifism. And that ideology still lives on in this country. Some, pe- some people say that we don't need armed forces at all. It's, it's incredible, but that kind of very empty pacifism is the, the really the problem still in Japan. So we can learn a lot from your country. People are very much concerned with the national security, surrounded by 22 possible enemies. So that is the, I respect Israel and your people. And you carry the very important message to Japan in this sense too. Well, uh, let me let me mm. agree mm. mostly, but yeah. let me okay. disagree with you oh, a little sure, bit. Oh, okay? sure, 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 <laughs> of course, of course. Well, I, I think that uh, in a society, in mm. every society, mm. there is the core, mm. the center of truth. Mm. Different, every society has its own, every country has its own. Mm. I think the core of Buddhism, of, of uh, 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 Bushido, mm. still exists in Japan. Mm-hmm. I learned it from mm-hmm. Japan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, I would not be here, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. If I wouldn't do karate, I would not be ambassador. That's, yeah. that's a very strange track of destiny, right? Yep. So, 
I learned and then came from Oshima Sensei mm. and uh, his, uh, his ancestors, whatever. So it mm. means mm. it doesn't have to spread all over the country, but mm. the light, mm. we call it the light, mm. the core, mm. the center still exists here. Mm. So it's just a matter core, of center. core. Yeah. The center of the so, center. Yeah, so, the, mm. so where, mm. when it's still there, mm. it's very easy to spread it. Mm. Mm. If it disappears, it's a big problem, but mm. it didn't disappear. Mm. Okay. How I know that it did, did mm. not disappear? Mm. Mm. You know the the loyal, lo loyalty to the you know to the mm. to the mm. emperor or to the to mm. the country or mm. actually moved a little bit mm. to loyalty for your company mm -hmm. <laughs> somehow mm -hmm. and people are still acting mm. as very loyal to their company mm -hmm. a very they will fight they will work very hard in order mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That's one of the big success of the Japanese mm -hmm. econo economy, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is a, like a miracle in the world, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. After the Second World War, mm -hmm. Japan was totally erased. Uh -huh. You know, I always remember the picture in the prime minister office the, mm -hmm. of Japan. There is mm -hmm. one picture of Tokyo mm -hmm. flat mm -hmm. and yeah. one picture today. Mm -hmm. And it was not so long ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are talking mm -hmm. about... Uh, mm -hmm. How many? 72 years, mm. 72 years before, but mm. that has happened, mm. uh, you know, the rebuild was much faster. So mm. I think that the problem of people that don't see mm. Mm. the mm. necessity of strengthening Japan mm. exists, mm. Uh, the, mm. many people, mm. but mm. the core mm. understand. Mm. And they understand that it has to be strong because mm. it's very simple rule of the jungle. Mm. The jungle of the new modern society or the jungle of the jungle mm. Mm. is the same. Mm. There is no vacuum. Mm. If you are not strong, mm. Mm. somebody will control you or oh, destroy sure, sure. you. Yeah. So Japan has to gain its mm. strength back. That's yes. very natural. Mm. And now it is strong economically with mm. ups and downs, but mm. still yes. number three mm. in the world, mm. which mm. is amazing mm. anyway. Mm -hmm. And it has to gain its, its strength as a mm. military power, mm. as a mm. security power. Mm. When you have a power, mm. you have a chance to have a peace. Mm -hmm. If or you sure. don't have a power, yeah. immediately it's a yeah. cause for a war. Somebody yeah. will yeah. want to take you yeah. over, yeah. and then you have to fight. Yeah. But if you are strong, you don't have to fight. Mm. It's we call deterrent power. Yeah, yeah. We, we, when we were weak, we are subordinate to something, some great power that we, uh, uh, somebody is going to control us, control control you. That, yeah. That's a law of the jungle. So we have to yeah. be strong strong enough to protect ourselves. Yeah. Then there is a way of peace. Yes, yeah, yes. Hopefully. If you say, fortunately, you said that Japan still has a core. core. Yeah, many things were destroyed, but uh, we still we have a core. So as long as we have a core, we can spread it, we yeah. can revive the tradition. Yeah. So there is a hope. Yeah. Not, uh, I, I, it's, uh, the hope is very, it's here. Mm -hmm. So I don't want Japan to be in a situation like mm -hmm. Israel, mm -hmm. under pressure. Mm -hmm. and, but the moment there will be real pressure on Japan, mm -hmm. they, they, they will be ready for that. Mm -hmm. That's no question. So I, I prefer that there will be no pressure like that, and mm -hmm. Japan will find its mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. with this core strength. Mm -hmm. well, so I, you are surrounded by the many possible enemies. And uh, now we, have, we see the threat from North Korea. And even the South Korea new president is very pro North, pro North Korea, and uh, you know the the danger of the Chinese communists. And Putin is not really a great great friend of Japan too. And United States uh, our ally, reliable ally, but uh, in the long run, in the very long run, the power of the United States in the on the downslope. Uh, even the President Trump said so. The, the President Obama said so. Yeah. So we have to strengthen ourselves that we don't, we never need a militarism, etc. We don't like to dominate militarily other country. We have no, no ambition for that. But Japan was, has been so weak and so dependent on the United States for the national security. That is the, the we like to learn toughness from your country for national security. And Japan is very much interested in the technology of cyber security. Yeah, cyber of the security, country. of course. Yeah. Mm. And this, this we can say mm. that was developed in, is in Israel mm. uh -huh. because of security reasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because we are surrounded by enemies. Yeah. Now yeah. we have a peace with Jordan, which is very mm. good. Good, good. And we have yeah, a peace yeah. with Egypt, mm. the longest border. Mm. Now we have peace. Mm -hmm. But today, you know, enemies don't have to attack with, uh, our, uh, with uh, mm. you mm. know, artillery. Ah. Ah. Sometimes we can attack ah. you with uh, cyber. Ah. 
Yeah, yeah, and destroy attack. your system, the yeah. bank system yeah. or the economy system. Yeah, the country is broken. You know, the, so, yeah, every, everything depends on the computer. Yeah. They, so uh, we IT created network. the system yeah. Yeah. to protect our system from yeah. any enemy. Yeah. And we become the leading in this uh, too in the world. Uh, yeah. So everyone is buying from us how mm. to protect mm. your yeah. system mm. yeah. from e any exactly. other. From yeah. any and, attack. And, and, and cyber war, we are, I think Japan is far behind Israel. We can learn a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's a, you're always very alert. Uh, you're very sensitive to the security issues. So naturally and uh, you developed that the first class, world, world first class technology. Yeah, well, mm. I was trying to explain to every prime minister of Japan uh -huh. that I met or any uh -huh. foreign minister. Uh -huh. I told him, you have a threat from North Korea of uh -huh. uh, rockets. Uh -huh. You are buying from the, uh, the America the Patriot. The Patriot, yeah. Patriot uh -huh. is shooting over your head and the uh -huh. success is uh -huh. maybe 20, 30 percent. Uh -huh. Israel, uh -huh. Israel has, <laughs> has uh -huh. arrow uh -huh. missiles. Uh -huh that attack the enemy uh, rocket, it's uh, a protection, it's not against, uh, it's, uh, not a, it's not attack uh, rocket, it's a yeah, protection again. Yeah. That it can attack the, air, the missile over mm. the head of the enemy. Mm. So if he's throwing a chemical bomb, mm. it will not fall on your head. Uh, no. For example, if you throw a uh, rocket on your head, uh, I hope it will not happen, uh, but yeah. then you shoot the rocket over your head, uh, or the chemical yeah, yeah. or whatever will go yeah, on your head. Yeah. So Israeli has this technology, mm -hmm. but Israeli also developed mm. something that nobody actually needs because we have enemies very close to us, mm -hmm. like Gaza district, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. They can throw us a very short rocket. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. nobody believes that you can have a protection against this rocket because it's mm -hmm. a very short mm -hmm. distance. Mm -hmm. But Israeli, about five years ago, developed, we call the... Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, mm -hmm. Shield, something shield. shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shield. But mm -hmm. it's not a shield. It's mm -hmm. a system mm -hmm. that the moment a rocket comes out, they send many, many, many rockets. becomes mm -hmm. like a shield. Mm -hmm. Iron shield, they call Iron it. Shield. Iron shield. I Iron dome. I heard Iron dome or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So even from a short distance. So mm -hmm. Israel is protected. Mm -hmm. That's why, in mm -hmm. some way, we mm -hmm. are not worried from the mm -hmm. rocket, uh, mm -hmm. the atomic bomb of Iraq. Mm -hmm. We said this is danger mm -hmm. for the region. Mm -hmm. But we, for us, we are protected. Mm. Saudi Arabia is most worried from the mm. Iran mm. than Israel. Because mm. Israel can protect itself and mm. Saudi Arabia cannot mm. protect itself. No, no, no. no. And uh, looking back at the history, uh, I think uh, in 1969 uh, or something, you were the Israeli ambassador was given the chance of uh, uh, to meet the emperor, Showa. The Showa uh, emperor, uh, thank to, uh, he said, thank, thanks to the, uh, the Jewish people because in the Russo Japan war, Jacob Schiff and other Jewish yeah. people helped uh, Japan. And uh, that uh, the anecdote became quite well known since the emperor said directly to the Israeli ambassador. And the people remembered how oh, that kind of thing happened actually in the Russo Japan, where Japan was out of money, and that time, Jacob Schiff and the Jewish people uh, bought the Japanese national bond, and that was a very big uh, event in the Japanese history. With that money, we could fight through the, the Russo-Japanese Russo war. And emperor mentioned that, and yeah, repeatedly, he, kind of uh, that kind of anecdote uh, happens throughout history. And uh, uh, but mm. at that time, mm. I mean, between the Russian War and the Second mm. World War, mm. still there was one very famous visit mm. to to Japan, the visit of a, a, mm. of Einstein. Einstein, yeah, 1923, very, very 24, popular, yeah, yeah, or yeah. something like that. Yeah. He came, came to visit. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, he was a Jewish, and mm. he was one of the founders of the Hebrew University, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where I studied, and uh, Valvusan really. studied. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He said, when he left Japan after 45 days, mm. that he was mm. touring all over yeah, Japan, yeah. and he got many friends here, mm. especially one. But uh, he said, if mm. Japan wouldn't exist, mm. God must mm. create it. Mm. 
mm. for the human race or for humans. So he was very impressed. Mm -hmm. We are talking about 1923. Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. old uh, mm -hmm. uh, Japan in, mm -hmm. in a way, comparing mm -hmm. to the modern world, but mm -hmm. major influence a little bit, but I'm not, sure. not mm -hmm. all the way. Mm -hmm. so, so he was very impressed by mm -hmm. the Japan tradition, by the mm -hmm. people, by the science, by everything. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of a small light relation between Japan, mm -hmm. Japanese yes. and Jewish people. Mm -hmm. And during the war, mm -hmm. 1945, mm -hmm. 1940 to 1940, Japan joined, mm. I think, 1942 or 43, mm. something mm. like that. Mm. Until 45, mm. there were some lights, good light, you know, in the tragedy of the world. Mm. And there was some light of uh, mm. people, Japanese mm. people, mm. that saved mm. many mm. Jewish people, yes. Yes. even though mm. they were partners of the Nazi regime. Mm -hmm. You know, the Sugihara son that uh, saved Shumi, the Shumi, people, Shumi, yeah. Sugihara, uh, uh, and the, uh, the General, Gen Higuchi. Higuchi. General Higuchi, in, Higuchi in China that uh, saved thousands of, uh, uh, of uh, Jewish people. Uh, uh, so this, this kind of mm, light in mm, the middle of the, the darkness, yeah. darkness mm. we have to appreciate. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. That really, uh, that, uh, that makes me happy. Yeah. Still, there were those people. Uh, the other country, Japan was uh, an ally of the Nazi Germany, however, those people really helped many Jewish refugees, Jewish people. Yeah. And uh, still, so this, this tells uh, how Japanese felt. And the, the, the two Jewish refugees in the Kobe, etc., Japanese people, very yeah. warm, very warm, and they welcomed yeah. them. And uh, so, uh, so I'm very proud of it. Yeah, still. well, you, it's for maybe. Yeah. Maybe you don't, uh, mm. I don't know, maybe mm. Japanese don't get how mm. deep mm. is this appreciation from the Jewish people, but mm. because the Jewish people were treated like nothing, mm. not even animals. Mm. Even animals mm. you don't treat like mm. that. Mm. They put them in lines and they put them in the guard chambers mm. using their body to mm. make soap. It was mm. an unbelievable mm. way of treating, mm. you know, the, uh, the most extreme mm. way to. Mm to look for any Jewish that even third generation Jewish in order to mm. exterminate him, mm. just mm. to kill them all mm. and to find them wherever mm. they are. Mm. And that was one of the main goals of the Nazi regime. They mm. yes. put a lot of power, a lot mm. of energy, a lot of mm. money into mm. it. Mm. And mm. the Japanese people didn't support mm. that, mm -hmm. even though they were part of it. Mm. But the Italian, mm -hmm. the Spanish, mm -hmm. the everyone, Poland, mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. that was in Europe, they mm -hmm. w went along with the, with the Germans. Mm -hmm. yes. They yes. didn't, and mm -hmm. the Japanese didn't do mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It's not just the light of those people, mm -hmm. very unique people that mm -hmm. save people. Mm -hmm. One of them was, a fo both mm -hmm. of them were in a formal mm -hmm. position, right? Mm -hmm. But still, the government of Japan mm. didn't stop, didn't say to them, mm. don't do it, mm. or didn't mm. col collaborate with mm. the German to look for Jewish people and mm. kill them. Mm. So that's for the Jewish people mm. is more than appreciation, mm. you know, mm. Mm. because that's, you have to, to try to uh, try to imagine a situation that mm. Jewish mm. people run away like, mm. you know, mm. hunted, hunted uh, mm. animals. Mm -hmm. And there is one nation that is part of the Nazi regime and mm. does not support mm. it. Mm -hmm. Actually, the Nazi government put a lot of pressure on the Japanese government not to accept the Jewish refugees, but we didn't listen. Yes. That was very good. Yeah. Yeah. So since the, the, the very beginning of the Meiji period, uh, the, the, this country has been anti-racism, anti any kind of racism. So, because uh, Japanese people, colored people, we are on the side of, of the, the they white people, the uh, discriminators. So that that is a sense. So we are anti-racism, racism of any kind. Uh, that that is a great principle of the Japanese foreign policy, even before uh, the war. And following that principle, so we, we accept Jewish people. Why not? So they are the victims of the worst kind of racism. You know. At, at least, even in the dark age, Japanese people kept that spirit. Uh, yeah. That was proved. Uh, that was proved yeah. in history. Yeah. Also, after the Second World mm. War, mm. the first country that recognized uh, mm. and, mm. and created diplomatic relations mm. with Israel mm. in the all Asia was mm. Japan. Oh, 1952, it's exactly 65 mm. years ago, mm. 
Japan uh, created uh, diplomatic relations with Israel. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So that's also mm. show the sign of the mm. you know, positive mm. and the collaboration, uh, collaboration uh, relations mm. between mm. the yeah. two countries. Then, then when we talk about the similarity between uh, Jewish people and Japanese people, uh, always I think like this. There are only two people, two nations in the world, which share, which, share, which have the living mythology. Mythology. Yeah. The myth is still live, uh, alive in our country. It's cause, since we have the emperor, imperial household last 3,000 years, and when you read Kojiki, the ancient history book, uh, which was uh, published uh, in uh, the, the, uh, the 8th century, early 8th century, and that is a collection of the very old documents. And then uh, we, can, we can say, go after the, the, uh, the history. The, the, before history, there is a legend. Yes. The before legend, there is a myth. How this world is, is born. But this is not you know, scientifically improved, but ancient people thought this world, this universe is born this way, it must be. Then there is a, the period of legends. The, historically, we cannot prove the, the, if this person exists, Susanoo because really exists, we, we don't know. But there must be something, historical events, which turn into the legend. Then the, then the history starts. So history means the documentary, we can prove the things happening. Yeah. So we have the history, the legend, then mythology. I think the, the first, very first part of the, the testament, uh, Christians call it Old Testament, your Bible, is, is, is nothing but mythology, how this world is born, in a very symbolic words. It's, it's written. Then legends, then the mostly history. I hear this, there is an archaeology based on the Old Testament. That if you believe this kind of thing must happen, since the Bible says, then the archaeologists to find the real things that remains, etc. So, the, this, so you start with the certain mythology. We start with the Japanese mythology, and it's still alive. We have the emperor in your country. Unfortunately, we, I can, if I visit your country, then I cannot see the offspring of King Solomon, King David. But your religion is alive. It's a living religion. People have the real faith. What is the triangle? Mm. Triangle is the Bible and God, all mm. the tradition, mm. the people of Israel, mm. and the land of Israel. Mm. These three elements, if you mm. keep these three elements, mm. you will be stable forever. Yeah, please say that again. Three elements. God. Three elements. Mm. God and Bible, like God the Bible, Bible yes. the Bible, the Bible. Yeah. Mm. The land, land and the people. People. Mm. So the Japan has these three things. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. have the tradition with Tenoeka, mm -hmm. they have the land of Japan, mm -hmm. and they have the people of Japan. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. But as a nations, mm. as a nation. the only two nations in yeah. the world that are yeah. keeping this triangle, mm. and that's kept them as a nation, mm. is the Japanese and the mm. Jews. Great. Yeah. <laughs> In, in the very end, uh, I want you to recite the tanka oh, you created. Oh, oh. Uh, that was very uh, funny, this uh, tanka story. Yes. <coughs> I was you asked by, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote it from, I had it in my computer, so. Okay. Mm. So, the story of this tanka, uh. I was asked from uh, one organization, or Motokyo, oh, Motokyo, to write a tanka for the big gathering in, uh, in the Budokan mm -hmm. in Tokyo. Mm. And they asked me to write about Jerusalem and peace. Jerusalem and peace. Peace. That's what there was their go ask. Uh, big topic. And then, <laughs> and then, then Tanka, you have to send the message, you know. Sure. Go I mean, chi, go, go chi, chi. chi. Uh, syllables. You so have, so you have I, to adjust the syllables. I started to write and ask and ask and uh. until finally. Then uh. one year they read it and I was in Israel, so I could not read it when I, I was not in the gathering. Then mm. one only letter. 2007, just my last year in Japan mm -hmm. as ambassador, mm -hmm. I went to Kobe and the Ayabashi, I think, their center, mm -hmm. and I was supposed to give a lecture. Mm -hmm. And then they told me, can you read your tanka oh. at the end of your lecture? Uh. 
And I said, uh, oh, yeah. I, I didn't bring it with me. I don't remember my heart. <laughs> so I said, no, 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 no problem. We have it. Uh, because we really? made it a prayer, uh -huh. and we are singing it every day. Wow. I said, wow. okay, I, I didn't know, really? so can really? you show it to me? So, so uh, they gave it to me, and it goes uh, like that. Uh, <coughs> because it's tanka, uh, so you have to make it a short message, very clear. You sure, know? sure. Uh, every letter has a meaning. Uh, every, every word uh, has a meaning, uh, and the words are connecting. So uh, finally, you have a meaning. I hope mm. so. Mm. So it's, it goes like this mm. <coughs> in Japanese. Eru seremu hinoru hitobito tenno kami itsu ka korareru ai to heian. The meaning was, mm. you know, in, at that time when I was writing it, there was a lot of a terror in Jerusalem, and we are talking about 2006, 2007, mm. and today it's very peaceful, but at that mm. time it was very, very problematic. Mm. And then you have to write a song about peace at that time, so it's yeah. very difficult. Mm -hmm. So I said, what is the hope? Mm. What is the that, hope? that heaven will not give us peace mm. unless we will make it. Mm -hmm. We will mm. make it yeah. ourselves. Mm. So, so the, the idea was that if people will pray, mm. will pray not only pray, mm. do things for peace. Yeah. Mm. Pray and do. Do, mm. then Kamisama mm. from heaven mm. will his listen, mm. and in the right time will come and bring mm. a, a love and peace to love the world. So, mm. so that's the meaning in, in, in English. So, Jerusalem, mm. Jerusalem, Hinoru, Hitobito, people that are praying, Tenno mm. Kami, the God of heaven, Itsuka mm. Koraleru, someday, someday will come mm. and bring mm. Aito Heian, will bring mm. love and, and love peace. peace. And in Hebrew, it's Yerushalayim, mm. Anashim Mitpalelim, Elokim Bashamayim, Yom Echad Yavo, Viavi Ito, Ahava Veshalom. Veshalom. Mm. Shalom is, shalom. in Hebrew, it's mm. shalom means konnichiwa, mm. hello, mm. also sayonara, mm -hmm. we use it, but mm. actually the meaning is peace. Peace. So mm. when we meet each other, mm. we say peace, peace mm. on you, peace. Mm. In Arabic, it's the same. Mm. Mm. Arabic is doing the same. Mm. It means when they meet, they say salam, mm. or salam aleikum, shalom mm. aleichem, mm. and then... When they say Ma'aka Salam, she will be a Salam, will be a peace with you. So they're using mm. the word peace mm. together. So mm. because we are original, we are from the same source. Mm -hmm. Shem, Semik. Shem, Semik. Se yeah. Semik is the, like the, the, when we say anti Semik, mm. anti Semitic, anti it's like anti Semitism yeah. is yeah. not exactly against Judaism, it's supposed to be against all the Semitic, Semitic, Semitic people. people. Yeah. Yeah. So se Shem, Shem was one of the three sons of Noah. Mm. Noah, Noah Kubuni. Mm. So mm. Noah was, has three sons, mm. Shem, Ham, and Yefet. Mm. So Shem was the line of the Shem people, mm. actually mm -hmm. Arab and Jewish people. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yes. So the Indian, let's say Shalom. 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 Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Yes.久しぶりでエリコヘンさんと会いまして長い対話をいたしましてあの非常にですね、まあ、英語で「ミーティング・オブ・マインズ」っていう言葉がございますけれども本当心の底からですねお互いに持っていることを伝え合うというところで。大変、まあ、自分で言うのもなんですが深いですね対話をやらせていただいたなと言って今非常に充足感があるところです。で昔もう今からちょうど10年前なんですがこの本をこういう本を出しまして後編さんがこれ、まあ、大使でいる時にお書きになって、まあ、現役の大使ですとあの本を出すというのがなかなか難しいこれはあのイスラエルの外務省とかもいろいろ中身もチェックしなきゃいけないなってことになると面倒くさいんで書いておいてこれは大使をお辞めになった直後にですね一緒に共著ということで出した本です。まあ高円さんはあのご自分の著書も何冊もお持ちになっているしそれでこの本なんかよりもっと売れた本もございますけれども
あの我々にとっては非常にあの楽しい思い出が、えー、の詰まった本ということでもあります。えー、当時大使だった高平さんのところにですね、部屋に大使の執務室執務室に伺いまして、えー、長いいろんな対話をしですね、えー、その中から生まれてきた本で、私もあのいろんな高平さんが僕に日本のことを聞くこともありましたが、私の方でですね。えーイスラエルの建国の歴史あるいは、うん、そのユダヤ教の信仰のことについてということでいろんな勉強もさせていただきましたでこの時の会話で覚えておりますのは「日本は八百万の神,神々で多神教」というのが元来の日本の神道のこの自然観であると。でまあ、イスラエルの民ユダヤ人というのはユダヤ教ですから一神教で、まあ、一神教の元祖であるユダヤ教とこれ全然世界観が違うのかというとそういうもんでもないんじゃないかということですね。というのは神様は唯一の神様でありますとだけども神の働き作用ですね神様の働きっていうのは無限なんだとだからそれぞれの神の働きをですねそれぞれに名前をつけて読めば「八百万の神」と無限にあるという言い方もできるとだから一神教と多神教で全然違うんだという捉え方じゃなくてですねその多様な大自然のさまざまな働きをその神聖なものとして神として呼ぶんだとすればでも大元の大自然は一つなんだと大元の神様は一つなんだと。日本の神話の古事記の初めにも一番初めに「雨の水中主の御事」があったと書いてありますがこれはまあ大宇宙の中心の神様というのは意味ですねそしてさまざまな働きがそこから生まれてくる機能としては無限であるとそうすると一神教と多神教だから話ができないっていうんじゃなくて本来そこの間にも対話というのが成り立つんじゃないかということでですね、えー、大いにですね話が盛り上がったのことを覚えております。で私があの今日に一番言いたかったことはですねユダヤ人というものはかつて国家があったんだけど国家がなくなってしまったそれから1900年経ってイスラエルという国を作ったんですねでその間もユダヤ人はですね科学の世界でですね文化の世界で大変な功績を世界的に上げてきたとしかし国家がないということによってですね非常に悲惨な弾圧を受けてきたと。やはりいろんな考え方あるけどもやっぱり国家というものをもう一度作らないと駄目だとでこれがシオニズム運動と言われるものですけれどもそれが結実して第二次大戦後にこのイスラエル国というものができたわけでありますですから世界中のユダヤ人がこのイスラエルという国の安全ということについては本当に心を砕いて考えているで国家がありませんでしたから、えー、そこで戦うですね兵士というものもいなかったわけでありますけど国家が作ることによってえー、ユダヤ人は 2,000 年ぶりに戦うことを思い出したと言っております要するに国家の防衛のためにはですねやはり自らの命をですね時には捧げて国を守らなきゃいけないということですねその決意これはやはりナチズムなどの,あのホロコーストの体験を経て非常に強固なものがあるだからイスラエルの国の中でいろいろな考え方がある右のあれば左の考え方もあるけどもイスラエルの国家の安全を守るということについてはイスラエルの国民は団結しているそれだけじゃなくて世界中のユダヤ人がですねイスラエルに住んでいないユダヤ系の人たちもそこに心を砕いているということこれは一番日本人が学ばなきゃいけないことじゃないかと私は今日思っておりますで日本は侍の伝統もある国で武士道というものがある国であってそして明治維新で統一国家というものを作ってですね立派な国を作っていたしかし第二次大戦で、えー、敗戦をしてしまいましてですね戦うことを忘れてしまった自分の国は自分で守らなきゃいけないというごく当たり前のことをですね、まあ、忘れてしまったというよりも忘れさせられてしまった、えー、そしてこの占領時代よくアメリカアメリカと言いますがアメリカだけじゃないですがアメリカもソ連も占領国だったんでこれがまあ分割統治するような形で日本をですね統治してそして占領時代に強制されたのが今の現行憲法ということであってこれはその通りに読むと軍隊を持っちゃいけないし国は自分の手で守っちゃいけないというふうに書いてあるわけです。それが非常に大きな誤解を生んで日本が形式的には独立した後もですね米軍基地が日本中にあってこれは実際上を日本の防衛をしているとアメリカ軍が主で自衛隊が銃であると。アメリカ軍の方が主な存在でそしてそれを補うものとして自衛隊があるというようなですね
誤った国防官が国民の大多数のものになってしまっているというのは非常に残念なことで、まあ、先ほど後編さんがですねいや核コアですね日本国の伝統のコアはちゃんと生きてるんじゃないかとだからそれを広げればですねまた日本は強い国になる大丈夫だとおっしゃっていただきましたが私も大変にそれによって勇気づけられました。で憲法を改正してですねこれはやっぱり9条を改正してやっぱり日本は自衛のためにちゃんと国軍というものを持ちますということを言うのはですねこれはまあ,あまりに当たり前のことじゃないかと戦後70年経ってようやく敗戦が処理できるのかなということだと思います。まあ、あ日本もですね、えー、僕はあ日本の近代の外交史の中でやはり三国同盟ナチス・ドイツとのこの同盟条約というのは非常に日本は誤った道に導いたものだと。いいうふうふに思いますしかし、えー、歴史を調べてみるとこの三国同盟日本がナチス・ドイツの同盟国だった時代も日本はユダヤ人差別には反対であると人差別に反対であるということでユダヤ人の亡命者をどんどん日本で受け入れてですねしかも民間がですね優しくその人たちを受け入れて、えー、その難民のですね人たちをですね、えー、この救済したと。いう歴史がありますそのことをさんも覚えてらしてらしですね、まあ、有名な,なのはですね関原千畝さんという人がいましたけれどもそれ以外にもですねこの樋口喜一郎さんという陸軍のですね後将軍になりますがこの人も大変な数のユダヤ人を助けておりますそれから日本がこの本で書きましたのは日本がね主催をして満州でですね極東ユダヤ人会議というようなものを開いてユダヤ人の保護をこれをやっていこうということもやりましたしここで、えー、小津さんというですね、えー、博士が大変頑張って向こうのカーフマンというですねこれユダヤ教の方の指導者と協力したとかそういう美しい話というものはいっぱいございます。ユダヤ人が本当にに一番世界中からら見捨てられてれ苦しんでいた時に手を差し伸べたのは日本人であったということ、まあ、日本だけとは申しませんが国家としては日本だけであったということをですね、えー、これも若いイスラエルの人たちにも世界中のユダヤ人の人たちにもよくご理解いただきたいというふうに思います。日本は形の上はナチス・ドイツの同盟国であったけれども人種差別反対だったんだとユダヤ人を亡命ユダヤ人を優しく受け入れた国だったんだということはまあ、後編さんも力説していただいていてですね、大変我々にとっては日本の歴史の誇りであるというふうに思います。今日とにかく国家安全保障ということに最も気を配っているのがイスラエルという国です。そこから私は学ぶことが今度は大いにあるんじゃないかと。日本はずっと侍の国であったんですが、戦後単なる商人の国に成り下がってしまいまして、もちろん商業も必要です。製造業も必要です。職人さんも。必要なんです死の交渉と言いましたけど農交渉ももちろん大事なんですけども死という国を守る人たちがいなくなってしまったら国は成立しません、えー、農交渉だけの国というのはありえないんですよね、えー、そのことをですね我々は今日のイスラエルの体験から多くを学ぶことができるんじゃないかというふうに思っております、えー、今日はあマダラメさんのおかげでですね大変に、えー、意味のある対話をやらせていただいたなとそして私自身もですね非常に多くのものをまた後編さんから学ばせていただいたというふうに思っておりますちなみに「トランペルドール」という今日取り上げた人のことについてはこの本をですね是非お読みいただきたいというふうに思いますどうも今日はありがとうございました。